everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another episode in the tour my bookshelves with me and this one is kind of the try a chapter challenge or try a chapter tag. So in the last video, I'm not actually, I'm not sure if it was the last one I uploaded or the one prior, but I uploaded a video with within this series about books that I don't plan on reading and that I may unhaul or give away because I just feel like so many other people may enjoy reading these than then just sitting and collecting dust on my bookshelves. So I was thinking of getting rid of a few books, but I thought before I did that, I should maybe give them a try and see if it's something that I'm interested in, which is kind of where that try a chapter challenge or try a chapter tag comes into play. This video was kind of popular um, last year when, you know, readers were trying to figure out what they wanted to read and they went ahead and would pick a couple books, I think four, and I believe I actually have four books and they would decide, they would like read the first chapter and decide if this was a book that they wanted to keep. The books I have with me today that I have not read or not started, never tried, and I was thinking of unhauling. The first one is The Light Between Worlds by Lauren E. Weymouth. This is, I want to say, maybe a middle grade retelling of Narnia. The cover is gorgeous and this was actually gifted to me by a co-worker and it's got deckled edges. I mean, the book itself is beautiful and it's never, like it's new, it's never been read before, it's in, fan it's in brand new condition. So I thought maybe this could be one that I could gift to somebody or give to a friend. Sorry, my battery died in case the angle changed. But as I was saying, this book is in such great condition that I think I could gift it to someone who has a um, child in middle school and really loves to read. It's just, I just feel like this could be given to somebody who would enjoy it a lot more than I would. It's just, it's so pretty and like I said, it's, I've never really, I've never even opened it except until now. So I think I think I may give it, but I really wanted to give it a try first because I love Narnia. It is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite books. So I was like, ooh, this could be done really, really well, or this could be done really, really poorly. So this is the first one. The next one I have is The Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin. I adored the Mar Dyer trilogy, like one of my all-time favorite series. And there was a spin-off series, The Becoming of Noah Shaw, and it was kind of hyped up when it first came out, but then I never really heard anything about like the last two. I don't even know how many are in the spin-off series, honestly. But my husband actually got this for me in a video that we filmed a little while ago, like Husband Buys My Books Challenge. And I just don't think I'm gonna read it, honestly. I'm gonna try and read the first chapter and just kind of see where I am, like if I even remember what happened with Meyer Dyer and because there was a lot of details. So I have a feeling I may be really confused when I start reading it, um, but this could be another one that I'm just going to unhaul because I, I'm just, I don't think I'm in the mood to read the spinoff series. I never really enjoyed spinoff series that much, except for the, what's it called? Bloodlines, which is the spinoff to Vampire Academy. Fantastic. Next, I have Artemis Fowl by Eon Colfer. I know I probably pronounced that wrong. This was another one that was gifted to me. Once again, wonderful condition, brand new, like the spine's not bent, it, it's great condition. And I know this is um, like a middle grade book, I wanna say, and it's kind of about an anti-villain or the villain the main point of view and I read the graphic novel so I kind of have an idea of what it's about but once again I feel like this could go to someone who is going to enjoy it a lot more than I would at this time in my life. I'm in my 30s, middle grade may not necessarily be for me at this time so I think I may want to give it, donate it, give it to someone who will really, really, really enjoy it. 
And the last book I have is The Merlin Conspiracy by Diana Wine Jones. This I also believe is a middle grade. This was also gifted to me. And I want to say this is a retelling of like the Arthurian legend with Merlin. I adore anything with the Arthurian legend. The Once and Future King is one of my all time favorite books. I have it right here. I love this book. I love anything with King Arthur, Merlin, all of that fun stuff. So I, I've been holding on to it because I wanted to give it a try. I don't have high hopes, to be honest. Um, so I think this could be also donated and given to someone who is going to enjoy it a lot more than I am. So what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to maybe start with the becoming of Noah Shaw. Let's see how long the first chapter, oh, not very long. It's like 10 pages. Oh, not even. Wow. Okay. So maybe I'll give it like 20 pages in and then we will see what I think about it and if I want to keep it or donate it. So I don't know, who knows? I may change my mind, I may change my mind. Okay, so I actually ended up reading four chapters in The Becoming of Noah Shaw. I am on page 25 and it's actually really good. Um, I forget how much I love this story. Um, I think I might keep it and maybe continue reading it because it just it gripped me from the beginning, but I do need to go back and kind of just reread the main details of the Mardire trilogy, um, like who the villain is, because they kind of mention the villain at the beginning of this book, but I'm not like certain of what's going on. Anyways, so next I think I may read The Light Between Worlds. Let me go ahead and read maybe the first ch chapter. How long was the first chapter? Once again, the first chapter is only 10 pages, so maybe I'll read two chapters, about 20 pages or so, 18 pages, and see what I think, and then I will update you guys after. So I just finished reading The Light Between Worlds about a chapter and a half and I decided that yes, this is definitely going to be one that I am going to donate and give. I just, it's just not for me. Um, the writing is quite juvenile. It's really easy paced, but it's just, it's, it, it's it's a middle grade. It sounds it reads like a middle grade, and that's just not the type of books that I like to read at this time. So I think I am going to stand by and give it away. Also, it is very 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 similar to the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, and I don't mind retellings, but I don't like when books blatantly are extremely similar. So I don't mind taking a topic and like adapting it or um, doing like a retelling, but this is just, it's too similar. I don't like it and I'm just gonna, yeah, I it's just not for me. So next I think I am going to do Artemis Fowl. Let's see how long the first chapter is. Probably not very long. Oh, actually it's 20, 20 pages. It'll probably read very quickly. And once again, I'm gonna be very, very, very careful not to bend the spine or to bend the pages because this is in such wonderful condition. 
I could definitely give this to someone who I think would really enjoy it. So let me go ahead and read Artemis Fowl and I will let you know what I think of it. Okay, so I just finished reading the first chapter of Artemis Fowl. This is really, really, really cute. Um, I think a middle grader or even maybe someone in elementary school, this could probably be read by a fourth or fifth grader. I think they would really enjoy this. It is so stinking cute. I love the narrator. They are quite sassy and they're essentially telling the story of Artemis Fowl, who is a 12 year old, a millionaire, a genius, and he is a criminal mastermind. And he kidnaps a fairy and he essentially is trying to restore his family's fortune. So this is very, very, very cute. I think if I were younger, I would have enjoyed this very, very much. Honestly, I could read it now and enjoy it and appreciate the book for what it is very well written so far in just the first chapter. I like the dialogue, I like the characters, I like how it's narrated. I think it's, I think this is so freaking cute and it's fantastic. So I think I'm gonna give it to a, a friend of mine who has kids in elementary school because I think they would really, really enjoy it. And the last book I have is The Merlin Conspiracy. This one, once again, I don't really have high hopes for. I love anything with Merlin, but we'll see. Okay, so I just read the first chapter, about 12 pages, and honestly, I don't need to go any further. I don't like this book. Um, I don't like the characters. I don't like the writing style. I find a lot of issues with how things are written, how the characters speak the dialogue. Um, it's definitely, definitely written for a younger audience, but it's like, it's not cute. It's not like Artemis Fowl that just I, caught my attention and I thought it was like really, really cute. So um, unfortunately I am going to be unhauling this one. So out of the four, I am actually keeping The Becoming of Noah Shaw. So I'm glad that I did this uh, try a chapter tag, try a chapter challenge. It made me realize how much I freaking adored the Meyer Dyer tr trilogy, and I think I do want to keep the uh, Becoming of Noah Shaw and potentially read it. I'll give myself maybe another year or so, and if I haven't read it then, then I'll unhaul it potentially. But I think right now, if I do sit down, I may end up actually reading it. So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Also, comment down below and let me know what you guys think if you've read any of these books, these aren't a lot of books that I have seen going around booktube. So let me know if you have read any of them. Um, actually, The Becoming of Noah Shaw, I have seen obviously go around booktube just because the Meyer Dyer trilogy was so um, popular on booktube a few few years ago. But as far as the other ones, let me know what you guys think. I also know that Artemis Fowl tends to be very, very popular and I can see why. It's so freaking cute. I like the narrator. I think young kids would really, really, really enjoy it. So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time in another video. Bye!